you want me to do a trial wedding makeup look for you today, correct? Okay. What I'm going to be doing is doing your wedding makeup as you would for the big day. So that way we can test out what you like. And when the big day comes, you'll already know exactly the look that you want. We'll have practiced it. So there's no surprises. Perfect. Okay. And also, it includes a face cleaning after. So, all the makeup that we put on, I will be removing it. Now, what was your vision? For your wedding look. And by the way, I want to thank you so much for laying down. That makes it so much easier for me to do your makeup. Okay, you're looking for something subtle, something natural, something romantic. Mm -hmm. Well, I appreciate what you're saying. I do, but let me stop you right there. examining you here that actually the best wedding look for you will be something avant-garde something a little bit more exciting a little bit more different so how about this you just let me have complete creative control of your face today alright and if you hate it that is why I'm also a professional makeup cleaner. Because I'll clean it for you. Okay? Alright, awesome. I'm just kind of looking over your face. Looking at your features. Yeah. I think you'll definitely look really good with, with some green and purple. Here are my eyeshadows. Let's start with the green. I do. I'm going to paint this on here. remember you and you won't be just like any other bride right. there we go yeah these are actually very expensive we we only use the finest makeups here at rainbow cat makeup salon only the finest makeups we don't use anything cheap Go ahead and add some purple now. Okay, add some purple. And we are going to use a different makeup applicator. Going to use this one now. Okay. Purple is going to go. Step purple on the corner and green. 
green on the so green is gonna be your base we're doing purple in the corner okay so it's gonna like fade into the green it's gonna be really beautiful and if it looks a little lopsided that's because honestly like your face is like a tiny bit lopsided i'm sorry You're getting kind of that wingtip look. We're gonna go in with the eyeliner later. Absolutely beautiful. Keep laying down. You're doing so good at laying down for me. Line your eye with the black. We need more because I want it to be thick. Okay, other side. Same thing. You're gonna have to hold your face for a second here, okay? I'm just gonna move your move you a little bit where you're sitting, okay? There. Let's browse into place. One more for the brows. Very nice. Okay. Of course, not no look for your wedding day would be complete without. Mm-hmm. 
your cheeks. I'm going to go in and manually like draw some blush in because like I said it's going to be very off on card so if you could just kind of suck your cheeks in like this like just so that, that really helps me see where Bangs and then you are 
doing a mermaid dress I like that a lot that sounds really cute Now, beautiful, you are going to need, how about we do some little bits of contouring, okay? We are going to contour you with a mix of this cream color and a darker color, okay? contour the nose a little bit just a little bit we're not gonna we're not gonna give you a whole new nose or anything you don't need a nose job you need a little bit of contouring on the sides I do this with all my clients okay. and just for fun sake we're gonna and some freckles but and here's where the, some of the avant-garde part comes in we are going to make our freckles green yes this baby green look i know it sounds crazy but i saw it in a magazine and also i saw this look not just any magazine Vogue magazine, and I saw this look on the runway. Yeah, for Valentino, and it was amazing. What do you think? Do you love it? Or do you love it? Do you love it, don't you? I love it too. Alright, so you want this to be your final wedding look? You do. Perfect. Oh, what's that? You want a little bit more green on your eyeshadow? Sure, we can do that. Sometimes after it dries a little, that's the best time to add another coat. And blend some pink in there too. That works. That totally works. Alright. Now. What do you think? Happy? I told you, right? I told you to trust me. And you love it, don't you? Yes. Well, now we have to remove the product. So, 
we are going to use this face cleaner. I know it looks a little dirty, but just trust me, it's not dirty. Also, we have more face cleaning methods, so we're going to start by, we have to put some soap on your face, because I tried to clean it with just water. Oopsies. Okay, now we've got them both. Okay, next step of a professional face cleaning is having to correct. Sometimes it gets a little worse before it gets better, so don't let that bother you, okay? some of the makeup particles a little bit more broken up. This very thick, thick makeup that I put on you. Sometimes when this happens, we have to use some slime to help clean up the last bits of makeup. So I might have to use some slime with you. Hope you don't mind. Using this slime today. Might look a little bit gross because I've used it before, but it smells really good. It smells like birthday cakes. So, take the birthday cake slime. Smell it. It's a wonderful birthday cake. Alright, here we go. 
slime is really good at cleaning up excess makeup. I know it looks a little bit dirty, but it's not that dirty, I promise. I'm just going to clean up any remaining makeup residue. Sorry about that cord getting on your face. Thank you so much. So glad I get to your makeup and clean your face. 